Okay, so Lakshmi, let's proceed ahead with your HR mm -hmm. for uh, coaching shipyard. So very brief introduction from your side. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, my name is Lakshmi. I come from Alapura in Kerala. Uh, I did my BTEC from the University of Kerala in the year 2016. Uh, after completing my course, I started working as a junior engineer for Southern Railway Track Doubling Project. Uh, there the main duties assigned to me were surveying, leveling, quality estimation, quality control, etc. After completing two years of, uh, there in uh, there with um, Southern Railway, I joined ISRO as an engineer on contract basis. Uh, the, I, I was assigned for one of the prestigious upcoming projects of ISRO, the High Thrust Electric Propulsion System Facility. Uh, I was the site in charge for the project. And uh, it was a project basically uh, causing the construction activities of about 120 crores. And, uh, um, the main duties there assigned to me was uh, uh, quality, quality control, uh, site supervision and management, and uh, quality estimation, etc. Uh, I had a very good learning experience there. I resigned uh, last June from there in 2021 and I started preparing for competitive examinations. Mm. Thank you. Okay. So, Lakshmi, why did you resign from there? Sir, so it was actually on contract basis. Mm. I completed my contract and also I got an extension, but uh, this privatization thing is happening with this show. So, uh, they are gradually uh, evolving in their uh, staff terms. So, I did a scientific and moreover, so many government exams were coming in these uh, in the past uh, December and November. So I decided to try for the exams. Mm. And why did you leave your junior engineer job? Uh, when I go with this job, that was a better job. So I resigned from mm. the don't, don't, job. don't you think you shift a lot? Um, no, sir. Actually, I was uh, I worked for two years with uh, Southern Railways and uh, uh, two and a half years with this show. What is your engineering background, Lakshmi? I'm from civil engineering. Okay, so uh, any idea yeah. of what how your job profile in uh, CSL is going to be different? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, uh, it is more uh, like uh, dock construction, maintenance activities, and uh, less of a civil engineering side, like a road. Uh, maybe there will be road construction, staff quarters construction. So uh, that more more towards the infrastructure side rather than the uh, civil engineering uh, conventional civil engineering applications. Any That's idea which understand. district uh, this CSL is of Kerala? And Nakulam, sir. And Nakulam. And how far it is from your place? Uh, it is hardly 60 kilometers from my place. So, looks like it's an ideal place for you to work, right? Exactly, sir. Okay. So, Lakshmi, now, uh, as far as yeah. CSL is concerned, any idea about what CSL yeah. is doing? Uh, CSN is basically concerned in shipbuilding, ship mm -hmm. maintenance, mm -hmm. uh, construction and maintenance activities of docks, and uh, yeah, that's what I do. Okay, you are a civil engineer. Let me ask you something about modeling of the okay. ships. You you must have studied okay. about modeling of the ships in fluid mechanics. Uh, yeah, basics I have learned in fluid mechanics. Sir. So tell me now, what dimensional less number will you use to model a ship? Uh, so that's basically fluids number. Sure. I think uh, fluids number is a it is the number that uh, relates the um, you know, the gravitational force to inertia force. Shift basically work on uh, shift basically float on Archimedean principle as far as I know. Mm. So I think uh, the best number to relate with the uh, the construction of a ship may be uh, fluids number because it basically uh, uh, the Archimedean principle is basically based on this uh, gravitational force with what gravity the water is displaced to replace ship in the uh, water. So I think uh, it is fluid number. Okay, and how do you ensure the stability of a ship? Uh, sir, stability basically 
directly depends on the metacentric height of a ship. Uh, uh, more the metacentric height of a ship, more will be. And how do you ensure more metacentric height? It is the. Um, Uh, sir, it is related to the weight uh, and uh, the upward pull exerted by the water in the sea. So we have to theoretically calculate it from equations. No, no. How do you design a ship for more metacentric height? Okay. Uh, basically, when the uh, length of the ship increases and, uh, the, and in proportion to the width, uh, then more of the water can be displaced. And uh, that, uh, mo if more water can be displaced, more weight of the uh, ship can be uh, upthrusted by the water. So that may be the best design, I think, for uh, getting more megacentric height. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lakshmi, what if you get new opportunity working in uh, CSL? Uh, sir, uh, CSL has always been my dream job. Uh, so I think... Uh, if I get it, I definitely stick to CSL only. Maybe you get uh, as a job of assistant engineer uh, in your state? Uh, actually, sir, I have been short. I, I uh, told you that I have been uh, studying this uh, past after resigning. So I have been trying for exams and I have been shortlisted for some of the assistant engineer exams already uh, in Kerala PSC. Mm -hmm. uh, but I prefer uh, CSL actually, sir. Why? Uh, why? Because uh, this is out of the box uh, kind of job, sir. Because the con uh, conventional, uh, it is not basically the conventional construction field. Like what I experienced in ISTRO was actually more the same, like what construction activities going in, uh, going with the CSL. Like most more people think uh, what happened in ISTRO is basically they are launching uh, uh, satellites uh, and uh, what is the role of civil engineer there. Same thing. Uh, same kind of thing is happening with uh, I think uh, with CSL also. Many people may ask what what is the role of civil engineer in CSL. So I think uh, I want to do something which is out of the box. So I okay. prefer CSL only. Okay, okay, Lakshmi. Now let me give you the feedback. See, your introduction okay. is okay. Your introduction is fine. I mean, you started okay. with the, your graduation okay. and then uh, your junior engineer job and ISRO job. Introduction part is okay, not okay. a problem. You just uh, stick to that only. Mm -hmm. But as far as now, there are two point, two domains where you have to prepare. One is technical part, and another mm -hmm. is uh, information about CSL. So go mm -hmm. through the document okay. of CSL. Go through that document mm -hmm. uh, thoroughly. And since you are mm -hmm. from Kerala only, they will expect some knowledge mm -hmm. about Kerala and CSL in Kerala. Oh, okay. So that kind okay. of knowledge is expected from you. Uh, see, mm -hmm. uh, fluid mechanics you need to uh, study, especially related to, you know, uh, ships, mm -hmm. stability and okay. modeling. So modeling is done mm -hmm. not by Froude's number, but it is Froude's plus Renault number combined, not only one. Okay, sir. So, okay, so if okay. you are not very sure about some answer, just say that, uh, sir, I'm not very sure, but looks like it is a open channel. It is like mm -hmm. a surface uh, uh, floating. So... Mm -hmm. Proud's number can be one of the uh, this thing. So if you're not mm -hmm. very clear about answer, add this particular sentence. Like metacentric height, how shall you increase? Mm -hmm. So you were not very clear about that answer. You were telling something or the other, but uh, it was not very clear what you mm -hmm. want to say. So metacentric height ko increase karna hai, just reduce the, okay. decrease the gravity point, you know. So in the ships are so designed that the heaviest mm -hmm. part of most heavy things are to be kept at the bottom. So G goes down, G goes down, mm -hmm. M automatically goes up. Okay. That is one of the ways. And then yeah, shape mm -hmm. of um, movement of inertia, you see the formula of metacentric height. It's a movement of inertia concept you have mm -hmm. to think of. So why you okay. want to join CSL? That also you need to frame answer. Why you want to join CSL? You can't say, sir, it was mm -hmm. my dream and it is out of the box job. So these terms are a little vague. Hmm? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by out of the box mm -hmm. job? Mm -hmm. That means sir, the work profile is interesting and it work profile is uh, something which in which is challenging and you tend to learn new things mm -hmm. so you need to make it very specific mm -hmm. why csl okay. so why you left je why you okay. left isro and why you want to know csl these questions are very straight and you have to answer mm -hmm. it very straight and okay. be prepared so keep writing all these questions in your copy so this is the question going to be asked and this is what my answer is okay, and practice here mm -hmm. practice here by answering okay, right sir.
this is what you have to do okay, so prepare sir. it that lakshmi and okay, also sir. now simultaneously start okay. going for technical snaps mm -hmm. and write up uh, practice also you okay, do whatever sir. gd you are participating start making write up of that whatever topic is given to you in the gd make a write up and send on the whatsapp okay. group i will check and get okay, back to you sir. right okay sir okay, okay lakshmi thank you